what we're going to do next is mix up our MGP solution. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that right here. First of all, we take our bag of MGP, a little bit of cocoa quarrel, and open that up. Okay. And then you have a scale, ideally with a little bit of foil on it. It makes it easy to put it into the bottle. They turn that scale on and tear it. For the purposes of this and for most people, you can just use ice mountain spring water, another kind of spring water. If you don't know if your water is chlorinated, um, it's important because the chlorination adversely affects the microbes and it will not be as efficient of an application if you use chlorinated water. So we're gonna use this. This here is 500 milliliters, which for you Americans, 16.9 fluoric ounces. Um, and the ratio is two grams per liter. So in this instance, we're going to add 500 mil and we're going to measure out one gram of MGP plus. About 1.2 there, a little bit much, but that's okay. Not, not a significant issue. Just gonna put this down here. And take this foil, and we can nicely and neatly pour this into. Into the bottle. Now it's in the bottom, and then we'll add spring water there. One thing we get asked a lot is what kind of sprayer bottles are best. Uh, robust cleaning style sprayers such as this ZEP that my ISO 70s in, they work best because they don't clog. You can use a light mist spray like the flare saw, but if you do that, you're very likely to end up blocking the flare saw nozzle and you're just gonna be mad at yourself because you'll just keep going through them. So that's why we recommend using one of these robust cleaning style sprayers, you know, they say for auto, lawn, garden, pet, and now also mycology, so uh, yeah. this in here and then it's important obviously that we disperse the sediment because there is a carry medium with this and you want it to be evenly dispersed throughout the liquid okay we're giving it a shake you can see it's a nice even color throughout it's evenly dispersed there's no sediment really in the bottom here which is what you want to see you want to make sure all the sediment is shaken out and now we're going to apply it to our substrate. So we generally advise to use about one spray per one and a half pounds of spawn sub mix. So in this particular case, we're gonna say this is around nine pounds. So we're going to be using around six sprays, which we will apply. Okay, so we've got a little bit of prime here. So we're gonna do three. A couple more because this doesn't seem to have a fine mist mode here. Then we're gonna mix it together. a little bit more and mix it at this point we're going to mix everything together
we like to evenly pack the surface down so it's a flat surface in the corners too and um, at this point you can cover the tray with tin foil and add it to your incubator at your preferred temperature which seems to be depending on the species between 70 and 80 degrees so this is going to go into our incubator here at 78 degrees fahrenheit which is ideal for the microbes to propagate and it's also ideal for the mycelium itself to grow so that almost concludes Thank you for watching, thank you for your business, and uh, we'll update you how this is in a couple of days.